shot my friend, got shot in the art hole. And as soon as the alarms went off, everybody just started running outside. And next thing you know, everybody looks and the, you hear boom, boom, boom. And I just ran as fast as I could to the nearest forest so I could hide. And I called my mom. We are following breaking news near Houston, Texas, where several students and staff members have died in a school shooting. In the last hour, the sheriff said a student opened fire this morning, killing as many as 10 people. At least 12 others are hurt, including a police officer who's in the hospital. Investigators say the teenage gunman is in custody right now, and they're questioning a second student about the attack. Authorities say they also found several possible explosives at and nearby the school. Witnesses heard gunfire just before 8 a.m. at Santa Fe High School. That's about south, 30 miles southeast of Houston. CBS's Courtney Zubowski is there. The day had barely began at Santa Fe High School when the shooting started. I heard really loud booms, and I didn't know what they were at first. And then I realized what they were when I heard screaming. Police are questioning at least one suspect. One uh, male is in custody, and then a second one, again, was a person of interest. Both are believed to be students here at the school. Law enforcement gathered students on the field while they rushed into the buildings. Senior Tyler Turner saw at least one injury. I saw some girl. She had a, you know, she got shot in the kneecap, I guess. Students reported seeing a shooter enter a first period art class and open fire. Then someone pulled the fire alarm. Because the fire alarm got pulled, I thought maybe it was just like you know, popping of something, like an explosion or something. So I was like, whatever. But then when I heard the next four shots, I was like, oh, it's not an explosion. That's, you know, gunshot. This sophomore ran to a nearby forest for cover. I shouldn't be going through this at my school. Like, this is my daily life. I shouldn't have to feel like that. Parents rushed to the scene after seeing this emergency alert about an active shooter situation. This is getting ridiculous that we have to be afraid to send our kids to school. This morning's shooting comes as students were looking ahead to summer vacation, which starts in just two weeks. Courtney Zabowski, CBS News, Houston. This is at least the 22nd school shooting this year. It comes just three months after a shooter opened fire at a high school in Parkland, Florida, killing 17 people. Aerial footage from February 14th shows a scene that's very similar to today's shooting in Texas. The attack in Florida sparked a heated national debate on what can be done to reduce gun violence. At the Minnesota State Capitol this session, several bills made it to committee, but they all died. Measures introduced by Democrats included tougher criminal background checks and ways to keep guns out of the hands of dangerous and mentally ill people. Republicans have said that they are committed to working on school and student safety. Stay with WCCO 4 News for continuing coverage of the deadly school shooting in Texas. We will have the latest online and on our news at 5.